there, I'm Eva and today's tutorial is about the Lego technique I did in my latest music video. So stay tuned for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it! <laughs> Alright, so first thing is to open After Effects and I'm going to drag some footage I shot of my mom on green screen and outside. I'm going to drag the footage I shot and make a new composition with it. I drag it there. Now I've made for you a collection of a different Lego texture. I call it color pack. This, this Lego texture I got from a, a tutorial my friend from tastytoots.com made for... Um, he did it for Photoshop and he was giving away one little square of Lego texture for his tutorial. So I'm going to put the link if you want to learn this tutorial for Photoshop uh, in the above section. You notice that all the different color images are actually bigger than our screen, than our composition. So what you need to do if you want to make the little uh, Lego texture smaller is to right click on the image and you go in transform and you choose fit to come. So now the Lego texture is going to be the right size for your composition. Now you're gonna go in effect and preset and you're going to write threshold. So I'm just going to drag it on top and what it does is that depending on how you adjust it you're going to get more and less of the white part. You have to think in terms of layers, what's going to be on top of what in terms of color. So let's say we start with the bottom layer. So we're gonna go in project and we're going to choose something that is dark. So this layer I'm not going to apply anything on it because it's going to be in the back. So that's going to be our background. My main clip here I'm going to go in the threshold. I want this color to, to be a little bit more flash than our black. So I'm going to pick a color and I put it under. So if I only isolate this one, I can right click on it and again I'm going to go in transform, fit to come. I have to remove the little dot here otherwise I'm not going to see. I, I want this color to go everywhere where the white is. If I change my setting here in normal and I click alpha add and I go in alpha matte, it detects that all the screen has no transparent in it. So to make transparent, we have to add another effect to it. So I'm gonna go back to normal, track matte, and I get to place back the eye. To make some part transparent, we want to remove the, all the black. So I'm going to choose Luma key and bring it here. And now I have to choose key out darker because I want to remove the black. And I'm going to adjust the threshold. You already see that all the dark spots are gone. And now I'm going to duplicate my Lego clip here to create a new clip for the next color. So to duplicate it, I'm going to Control D on my PC. And this one, I don't want to see it yet. So I'm just removing the, the little eye. So under, in the gray-blue layer, I'm going to change it to alpha add. And right next to it, I'm going to select my layer that I want to use as an alpha channel. And now you see that we already have two colors. The background one and the blue one. So in this case, I want the block to be almost as big as the actual Lego block. Like, maybe we can tweak it a little bit more. If you want to have sharp blocks, it's better you click on sharp colors. And now we have a new color. I'm going to duplicate my Lego clip to make sure I have a, another one for after. Ctrl D. On my yellow image here, I still have to go in, transform, fit to come. Now I'm going to go next to my clip under with the yellow image, select alpha add and alpha matte. If you feel like this is too big for some reason, you can always go back in the threshold and adjust it. Since we changed the other one, I'm gonna choose a darker color for this one. Put it under, right click, transform, fit to comp, make it sharp colors. I duplicate my clip. Uh, on the side of magenta, I change to alpha add and alpha matte. 
if you want to place it under, you just select both, then you click with your mouse and you put it right below the yellow image. And now you're going to see the yellow image. So we can already kind of see my mom in pixels. <laughs> like we see some character here. The more layers you're going to add with the more different colors and details, the more the character is going to stand out and you're going to, to be able to really see that it's someone. <laughs> Okay, so now we move on to Premiere Pro and we have our clip that we just exported here and to make a sequence with the clip I only took the clip and I right click on it and I make new sequence from clip then it appears here with the right dimensions and right frame rate after that you can just drag the same clip on top of the first one and we are going to change the colors of this clip to have it pop when we add the glitch effect. So to change the color, we go, we write fast color correction. In After Effects, you could do it with hue and saturation. But here we're gonna do it with the fast col color corrector tool. And we're just going to change the wheel here. So we pick a color that really stands out compared to the, the other color. And I think that's, that's enough. And here I have imported the glitch transitions from Rampant Design Tools, which are glitch transitions on top of a transparent background. You can use the glitch transition as is, just put it on top, or you can use it as alpha channel. So I'm going to select all the transitions, all the clips, and put it on top, and select another couple ones just to make sure I cover all my, my sequence here. All right, so now as you can see, we can see through the clips. And some, some clips are, are a little transparent like that. But that's not the effect we are looking for right now. We really just want it as an alpha channel. So we are going to go in FX and write track map key. You just wrote track and you can start it. You drag the track map key on top of the second layer here. And here at mat you change for video 3. So what it does is that every time the glitch transition is going to appear, instead of seeing the glitch, we are going to see the other layer with the color that we chose. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Side bear. Side bear. <laughs> Side bear. Side bears.